Hey, good people of the interwebs. Gonna do an axe, axe comparison today. Been out splitting some red oak. This stuff was cut down about two weeks ago. Um, the trees itself were taken down by a tree service company. Dropped off over to Buddy's house. Uh, what I have left are a few of the rounds that we haven't split. And you can see over here a few of them that are split. That was from a, uh, that was about 29 inch piece. This one here with the axes in it is about a 30 inch piece. Uh, it's about 18 inches high or 18 inch long splits for the stove. Uh, we have the Fiskars X27 that everybody loves. We have the new, uh, the big Husqvarna axe. And um, then I have a steel splitting axe. It is not a mall. It is the heavy pro series. Um, and it works pretty good. It's, it's heavier like a maul, but it's got a shorter handle. Uh, if you split on the ground like I do, you will probably want something with a longer handle. I don't like moving wood three and four and six times. The, um, you can see the handle on the, on the steel is quite a bit, you know, three, four inches shorter. And I like this better than the Husky for the handle length. The, um, the head profile, you know, it looks more like a conventional mull. And it's got this heavy duty uh, overstrike protector. Where's your Fiskars? This is, uh, this is probably seven, eight years old. And uh, all the, the non-stick Teflon has been wore off of it. I've sharpened it a few times. And it actually sat in the back of my truck last night. It's got a few little rain goobers on it. But it's not a big deal to clean up. It works. The Husqvarna is quite a bit shorter. Uh, this is more along the lines of the X27, or I'm sorry, the X25, which if you chop on a splitting block, this is the perfect length. If you chop on the ground like I do, it's not, you really need to watch your shins and your toes for over strikes or off center hits. Um, head profiles, I don't know if you can see the taper or not. This is very sharp. It's got a lot longer of a taper than the Fiskars does. And if you get into stuff that's not straight grain, this tends to stick a little more. Now, this is not a maul. It's not meant to be beat on. Um, this is great for driving wedges uh, when you're felling trees. And I'm talking plastic wedges, not, not hardened steel wedges. But again, the handle length, you know, if you're, I'm not overly tall. I'm kind of short, about 5'9" but I prefer that longer Fisker's handle. But anyway, piece of red oak, 30 inches in diameter, and we're gonna give it a whirl. Here's the Fiskars. I'm um, used to that one. I like that one. Now the Husqvarna. Yeah, let's try the steel. Got a little more weight to it. I notice this one tends to get stuck a little easier. I'll give a little hush more a shot.
All three of them are really good. It's all what uh, what you guys would like as far as your personal preferences. You can't go wrong with any of them. The Fiskers for the money, it's 50 bucks. I think I got this on clearance at Tractor Supply. It was like 30 bucks. I've actually bought two of them. A lot of guys don't like the uh, fact you can't replace the handle. Well, it's got a lifetime warranty. Seven or eight years worth, four to five quart a year, no issues. Never been warrantied, never broken. Best bang for the buck, in my opinion. You know, decent sized splits, but just like that. I mean, you're not gonna get the home run strike every time. You know, if you take a round, if, if that's what you want, if you want a one strike hit, you try popping this thing right here, it's probably not gonna happen. Start, start on the edges, work your way around. And once you get a crack, drove through, then you can come back, come inside. And just work your way to the inside. That's it.